Today, we tell you a funny story joke about a priest and arthritis. But first, a quick bit of history of arthritis. Did you know that the first reference to arthritis is found in texts? That goes back to 4500 BC. Yes, more than 6500 years ago. An actual text dated 123 AD first describes symptoms that appear to be similar to rheumatoid arthritis. The details were noted among skeletal remains of Native Americans found in Tennessee. Now that we have that out of the way, buckle up for this fascinating joke. A man who reeked of beer sat down on a subway seat next to a priest. The man's suit resembled a war zone map, complete with mustard gas yellow stains and lipstick trench lines. His face looked like a toddler had applied makeup with a potato and a rum bottle peeked out of his pocket, like a pirate's buried treasure. Yet, amidst the sartorial chaos, he sat reading the newspaper with the focus of a sponge, absorbing every drop of detail. The subway clock, tired of watching paint dry, finally coughed up five minutes. The man turned to the priest and asked, Say, Father, what causes arthritis? The priest was obviously not very impressed with this man and said, Mister, it's caused by loose living. With woman so cheap, they practically pays you to buy it, drowning your liver in alcohol and a contempt for your fellow man. Huh, who knew? The drunk man muttered, returning to his paper. The priest blushed and tapped the man's shoulder. Forgive my outburst, sir. I'm usually better at dispensing blessings than diagnoses. I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to come on so strong. How long have you had arteritis? I don't have it, Father. I was just reading here that the Pope does. <laughs> the moral of the story is this. The priest learned a valuable lesson that day. Don't throw shade when you're wearing holy water sandals. Luckily, a little red wine on the cheek and a heartfelt apology. And maybe a donation to the room fund smoothed things over. Remember, everyone makes mistakes, even those who dispense blessings for a living. And well, turns out this rum-soaked pirate with a wardrobe straight out of a clown convention might just be the Dalai Lama's long-lost cousin. Appearances can be deceiving, unless they involve a parrot on your shoulder and an eye patch made of cheese. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>